guys. Hi. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Gang, gang, I'm here. I'm here. Well, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes, all the well wishes, all the comments, the likes. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so, so, so much. I, I'm glad that my videos last week were well received. So me and Orchid, Orchid and Orchid, are here to say thanks for the support we've been getting the last week and thanks for all the birthday wishes um so i didn't want to put up another video until i did my because my last two videos were the entire collection i didn't want to put up another video until i filmed my birthday haul uh and i haven't gotten every single perfume that i bought for my birthday or received for my birthday there's still two missing but i thought about it and said that i'll put those two in another video another idea that i want to do I guess you can call it nine and a few samples but yeah so i have hit so i have eight and a half fragrances here so yeah and guys thank you for all the support I really so without further ado adieu i don't let's get started with the haul if i had an intro this is where the intro would go like cue the intro must we get an intro i soon get an intro i don't know where to start this haul um let me just start with this one the smallest one I i've worn everyone except two so i've worn all of them smelled all of them and guys i think i'm going to start doing like individual reviews so comment down below on the fragrances that you want to see a review on i'm going to do it promise i'm going to do individual reviews there are some of these that i want to do individual individual reviews and some of these guys are so right now i have i have three niches and when i started watching fragrance videos uh late last year september october last year i didn't i wouldn't i didn't expect i'd be the one hauling a niche brand like come on progress come Come on. So the first one here is from my love. I don't know if they want me to tell who bought me these fragrances, but I'm gonna just say a few. So this one is Elisab Le Parfum. This is it right here. And I must say, I don't know about y'all, but my boyfriend really knows me. He goes into a fragrance store and say, yeah man shall I like this um he knows me he knows what i like and one more one more we can't ask for like a man who just randomly gave perfume like one more you can't ask for come on i mean you can ask for a lot but yeah. so this is it right here and this was gifted a few days before my birthday like a present before the present you know so this is i really love this bottle like Come on, that white cap and the sex, sexy, sexy. This bottle, it nice, it, it nice bad. And this one I haven't worn either. So I think three of these I haven't worn, like so I can't really tell you the longevity. This is not going to be like a review. I'm just going to tell you the fragrances I got and my initial thoughts on the fragrances. My initial feeling is I love it. Oh, gosh. Okay. So this has notes of because you know it's like a first impression, so I'm going to tell you the few notes in there. It has orange blossom, patchouli, peach, orange, I think, like or mandarin orange or something of sort. It has amber, the color. Like as I saw this, and like the first initial spray when I got this. The first thing I could say, okay, amber, 
patchouli and something sweet there has vanilla in it also it has red berries yeah yeah so you get the red berries in it you get the patchouli and you get the orange blossom and the amber this is a really guys um again first impressions i definitely have to do like a you know wear test in-depth review yada 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 but this is sweet um but it's not too sweet it has a little bit of like soapiness like a little like a, this much like a soapy aspect to me to me um you know what i realized recently i realized that i love fragrances with orange blossom in there yeah i think i think i like orange blossom in fragrances so it's you get you definitely get that patchouli in there it's sweet it's not too sweet it reminds it had a little bit of soapiness but i don't know where the soapiness come from so a few more notes it also has benzoin has peach has jasmine has bergamot but i do get that sweetness from the peach and the vanilla you do get the the red the, get the berries is it red berries you do get the red berries in it it's not too it's not a red berry like red berry hurt intense because that's very that's very like berries you definitely get berries in that fragrance so it's not too overpowering even though the red berries is in the top but that patchouli that that van patchouli vanilla amber dry down chef kits like so I really do like this and I have to give it more wears to tell you a little bit more about my feelings again I haven't worn this I haven't really worn this to you know to give you more than what I gave you but okay next we have pure next we have pure royal by Federico Mahora so this was spoken about on uh, Paulina's video and it is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. I actually ordered this maybe like the 4th of June um, and I got it, when did I get it? A few days after my birthday. Um, so it took, up, it took about three and a half weeks to get to me and it's from Poland I believe. So this is the box right here. So it comes like this this is it so it's the 910 this is the 50 mil and i've worn it i've worn it once so in Paulina's video she basically said that the notes are the exact same for baccarat rouge 540 as i said in a video before i don't think i'm going to buy that fragrance i mean if it's gifted to me if it's gifted to me sure but i don't think i'm gonna buy it because i can buy like three four fragrances with that money come on so yeah so i decided to buy the inspired or the dupe for it um i think i paid around 40 dollars in total i don't know so yeah i've worn this i think i won this yesterday um it lasts long uh, I'm not telling you, but I remember it lasts long. It smells like the sample of Baccarat Rouge 540 that I have. It smells like the sample of Baccarat Rouge 540 that I have. Um, this is, in my opinion, Baccarat Rouge 540 in a bottle. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is it. This is the exact perfume. But cheaper so this smells 99% Baccarat Rouge 540 yeah okay so other than it's smelling like Baccarat Rouge 540 because I know that most of us already know what it smells like or heard reviews smelled a dupe um, it lasts the entire I think I, I think I sprayed it on in the afternoon or evening maybe around five four o'clock and it lasted the next day one thing about this I would like the projection to be a little bit more you know I really I really love to smell my fragrances 
love i love to smell my fragrances so i wish it was a little bit more even though it's really really good even though the next morning i woke up still smelling it but i just wish it was a little bit more you know people say that baccarat rouge 540 does a disappearing act like sometimes i smell it sometimes you don't smell it but this i could smell it throughout but it wasn't as strong it wasn't strong enough for me i like massive projection massive sillage but this was good it was good jean paul gautier and this is jean paul gautier and this is classic essence the parfum 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 yeah so this was a gift from my, from my brother and this is it right here the classic bottle um so uh, this is how it looks right here so what re really made me want this fragrance is i think i saw maria colette i mean i've been eyeing these fragrances i've been eyeing this fragrance to get it but i saw maria colette's youtube video and it made me want this fragrance and then um my fragrance friends were talking about this fragrance and said like uh, I think Takara Thompson she bought this fragrance and I was like okay all right so I'm gonna get it I'm going to get it and it's a stunning bottle and I really do guys I think I really really like fragrances when it has like dark sexy deep amber juice like lots of whipped cream orange blossom aldehydes I think that's like you know fresh note I don't I don't know what all the hide is but it has notes of tangerine whipped cream uh, vanilla ginger orange blossom so first initial spray you do get that ginger like if you know what ginger smell like you do get the ginger it's not a very strong ginger that like would burn your nose this is another fragrance that I haven't yet worn either so can't tell you on the longevity the dry down because initial smelling I can't smell the whipped cream I don't think I can smell the vanilla either but I do smell the tangerine and the ginger that's all I can get right now all I can get tangerine ginger but it's so nice and a few other notes um, is benzoin woodsy note and cashmere wood but it's nice I like it it's 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 quite different than anything I have in my collection okay now that it's drying down I do get the ginger a little bit more and I got and I get the orange blossom also I bought this on Sephora and it's a discovery set this uh, this is from Victor and Rolf and it's their magic discovery set this uh, discovery collection set so this is it so it has a few different fragrances in the set I've only smelled one of them and I've gotten a fragrance I, I think I've gotten a sample one from Sephora um, on where is it liquid diamonds and ever since I've gotten that fragrance sample I I kid you not this is before this is before I start collecting fragrances so this is when I had my 15 fragrances I loved it ever since I was like money forget it okay this was the time when i think it was like 130 dollars 130 dollars and at that time i would i could never see myself purchasing a fragrance for 130 us dollars as you guys know i'm from jamaica and the currency the exchange rate is very different so 130 dollars for you is like eighteen thousand dollars for me here in jamaica so is that correct I don't care yeah so it's a lot of money so I would, could never see myself buying a fragrance for $130 $130 at the time no it's a different it's a different mine we have a different mids so um but yeah I was like oh my god I love the fragrance yeah I love it I love it I love it and I haven't seen that many um videos on Victor and Ralph magic set magic fragrances I was like okay so i love this fragrance let's see if i love other ones in the collection so i'm going to do an individual video on this because i haven't seen that many fragrance videos about 
this particular line of fragrances so it has dancing roses salty flower sparkling secret invisible oud dirty trick liquid diamonds and sage spell guys when i spell um liquid diamonds again i must still love it i must still want it so you know what i get it yeah but more on this these fragrances in another video so definitely i'm going to follow up this with a uh, individual video by itself also some other samples um i got two samples from the federica mahora when i bought the baccarat rouge baccarat rouge dupe <laughs> so these i got these two fragrances one is so let's just say federico mahora femme on the front so one of these I actually actually really love um, this one is 322 so 3 332 322 come on girl get it together so this is like a like a fresh with a hint of sweetness and a little bit of fruitiness fragrance like a fresh fruity fragrance I do like this but you see that one here this one is called 486 so 486 um this is also a dupe um and when must smell it i had to go on their site on their instagram and say no man we need to know if i buy this because this is supposed to be a dupe for lancome la vie belle and rose and we want it. I want the I want the real version though, but I mean I want both. I mean can I really wait another three and a half weeks? But yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, I love that. I, I want La Via Bell in Rose. I, I um so now it's time for the big bank. This is from Mancera and this is Roses Vanille. This is actually my fragrance for today. Today, today, I tested out this one. So it comes out like this. So it comes in a bag, individual bag. I don't like the color of the bag. It's ugly, but besides the point. Um, so this is, it does really, I think I watched a video and, I, and someone said that the bag makes it feel like an experience. And it, I do get that. I do get the experience feeling. So this is my first, no, this wasn't my first niche. This wasn't the first one I got. So this is from Mansara and this is a niche house. Uh, one thing about this though, I really thought the bottle on camera, it's pretty deceiving. It's pretty deceiving because this bottle is small. Like it's it does it looks small it looks like i have a three ounce three fluid ounce bottle in my hand and it's supposed to be four and my hands are small my hands are midget hands and i really thought four fluid owns when i watch people's videos with their manceras it looks way taller way longer than it actually is it's pretty short and i and i was disappointed i really thought i got uh duped i really thought i got you know someone robbed me because it's pretty short but this is the bottle right here just to get in my nails are dirty <laughs> this is the bottle right here and it's roses vanilla for fluid ounce um it has a screw top and i've recently watched someone on youtube her name is sarah She's new to YouTube, by the way, so I'll put her name on the screen. Uh, I pretty, I like her. I like her. I like her spiciness that she gives. So she reviewed this fragrance and she said that it smells like medicine. Um, when she said that, I had to go back and smell. Uh, I do get what she means, but okay, okay. So when I first got this, I was disappointed. Stick a pin quick story so i bought this fragrance and here i am buying the fragrance okay my first this was my first purchase i think this was my first 
niche purchase when we get the perfume buy the wrong perfume is the wrong perfume my buy me candy buy the wrong perfume this wasn't the perfume i was supposed to buy it wasn't i mean so so apparently there are two versions of roses vanilla i mean it would be nice if them could have tell me so there was two different versions but uh, i think this is a 2017 version and you have also a 2018 version so let's say the 2018 version the one that swayed me to buy this fragrance let me see if i can find it right here oh, no this is the 2011 i was supposed to buy the 2011 version but got the 2017 version instead so the 2011 roses vanilla it has lemon it has water notes it has sugar it has rose it has white musk sugar again it has vanilla and it has cedar that's the one i wanted it has sugar both in the middle and the base it has water notes roses lemon sugar in the middle and sugar in the base tell me i rose lemonade that tell me tell me sugar water lemon it's a rose lemonade <laughs> it's a sweet lemonade nobody can tell me that it don't smell like a sweet lemonade like bro that's what i wanted but the version i got is this has fresh lemons of calabria it has turkish delight with rose has cedarwood, intense vanilla, and white musk. What is sugar day? What what is sugar day? So this is what I got, and it's nice. The first time I got it, the first time I smelled it, I was a bit disappointed, but I got over it because it smells really, really good. You do get the lemon, like it's citrus, the citrus the citrusness i don't get the rose but you do get like citrusy musky slightly woody fragrance but on my skin as i said as i said i wore this today on my skin i don't get the vanilla the vanilla doesn't come true it smells like a lemony woody fragrance um it's not that it's not a tart lemon it's not a sour sour lemon. it's not a sour lemon it's like a lemon that is sweetened a sweetened lemon so it's not tart it's not sour but i do like it um maybe it's the vanilla that gives the lemon that sweet vibe but it's nice it's like a a daytime spring summer fragrance and i wore this today and jamaica is hot say it with me i say tons balls yeah yeah so i wore it today and it performed really well i can still smell it on my hand here i didn't spray any of this on my hand so you can still smell it it lasts long it lasted the, oh, the entire day it projects really well and it works well in heat So guys, that is it for this video. My name is Kent and those are my two cents.